meet Bucks Teenson, his wife Mel, and their three dogs. A year ago, they lived in the great outdoors in South Africa, but they recently swapped their massive ranch for a tiny terrace. Zulu the boxer didn't like downsizing, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Moving to Feltham in England seemed like a great idea, and five-year-old Maltese poodles Mac and Stumpy have adjusted well to their new environment. But Seven Stone Zulu is having none of it. This bouncing ball of hyperactive energy has been terrorizing the neighbors. He looks uh, to me re really dangerous. And driving a wedge between his owners. 60% of our arguments are probably over Zulu. This cooped up canine is literally bouncing off the walls. And to keep himself amused, he likes to lick anything. When you walk in there, you get gunged everywhere, there's slobber everywhere. <laughs> Need a shower as soon as you walk outside the house. Don't eat my earrings. Do you get off? I need a wet wipe. He's slobbery, really slobbery, you know, and you can't get away from him at all. And if you try and move your head, he's coming so big on my little face that it goes all over. <laughs> Zulu, no. And while Zulu clearly has the upper hand with Mel... <laughs> and I've been pulled through dog poo and glass and gravel. Zulu, wait! His battle with Bucks is more of a macho showdown. There's a lot of testosterone in the room. It's been getting to me the way he dominates us and the way he thinks he's, uh, he's top dog. And to top it all, he's even cramping Bucks style in the bedroom. Waking up with a seven stone dog lying in your legs uh, makes you think, uh, I need to maybe move into the spare bedroom. Bucks threatens to pack his bags at least three times a day. Zulu, no! That in the last two or three months, we started discussing divorce proceedings just purely because of the dog. Well, the dog's not going. It's either <laughs> me or the dog. It's time someone got to the bottom of Zulu's relationship-busting behaviour. Who better than dog trainer Victoria Stilwell? Whatever size home you live in, if you choose a big dog, he's going to need plenty of exercise and stimulation. If you're not committed to fulfilling those needs, you are asking for big trouble. By moving to Europe, Zulu has returned to his roots. Boxers were first bred in Germany in the 1800s and were used for bull baiting and as guard dogs. Often described as the comedian of the canine circuit, boxers like to have fun. But don't be fooled. While they're quick to learn good habits, they're just as quick to learn bad ones. Zulu, beware. Victoria is on a mission to stamp out any bad behaviour. Hello. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. All right. Whoa, quite strong. Yeah, very. Quite warm. <laughs> After a hounding in the hall, Zulu gives his signature slobber fest in the lounge. Do all your guests uh, get welcomed like that? They end up leaving looking like they've been dragged through a hedge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Covered in dog hair and right. slobber and yes, all of that. Very slobbery. Whoa. This is going to be a game, isn't it? That was a really enthusiastic greeting. I have been licked all over my hands, all over my arms. I think I've just had a doggy shower. Victoria's first priority is to investigate Zulu's new stomping ground, now just a tenth the size of what he had back in South Africa. Is he out here a lot? Yeah. During the day while we're at work, this is where you'll spend all his time. All He's in the garden eight, nine hours a day. That's it, yeah. With Bucks and Mel at work all day, the hounds are left to humour themselves. And now that Zulu has explored every inch of this garden, he has his beady eye on the one next door. He starts barking and jumping on the fence. Uh, this scares me and my son a lot, and we are not able to use the garden. Looks like he could get over. Yeah. Um, 
quite scary. This just becomes an extension of the house. Okay. So from a dog's point of view, it's being like left in a boring room in the house. Yeah. The only way that he can sort of find stimulation, as it were, is whenever they're in the garden, he's going to jump. <laughs> this dog is so boisterous. <laughs> he's a big boxer. He's powerful. And he's in a tiny house. So, surely Zulu can't wait to get down to the wide open spaces of his local park. So, how much exercise does he get a day? He probably goes out about three times a week. Three and times a week? Mm. He goes out three times a week? Yeah, because Bucks doesn't like to walk him and I can't walk him on my <gasps> own. A boxer going out three times a week? No wonder. Nothing will change unless this dog gets out and exercises. Nothing yeah. will. Yeah. You, could, you could do everything in the house. You could be the best obediently trained dog in the world. With no exercise, he's going to be nuts. Victoria can't believe what she's heard. I understand why they're fearful of taking him out, but, you know, they've got a box, so they have to work hard at giving him what he needs. Three times a week is just nothing. And when Zulu does finally get outside, he's not the friendliest pooch in town. Zulu! How do you interpret his behaviour, then? I think he just wants to get them as quickly as he can, do they? I don't know if it's because he wants to eat them or just snuffing. I thought having other dogs, he would be sociable, but obviously I'm beginning to see that that wasn't the actual case now. You don't just socialise them with one or two dogs, you socialise yeah. them with a hundred dogs yeah. a week. The most important time to socialise a puppy, a dog, is between eight weeks and 16 weeks. He's had now two and a half years of yeah. not great socialisation, which means that it's much harder for that dog to, to be socialised. But Zulu seems to have no problems being sociable in more intimate surroundings. I've got something to show you here. OK. Our lips shouldn't touch. Move over, the nightly ritual involves a rather unwelcome menage a trois, as Bucks has to battle the boxer for his marital bed. Do you do that every night when you come to yeah, bed? He's yeah. always on the bed. Yeah. Okay. Usually when I wake up, he's between us. You had the edge of the bed I this time. I think so, yeah. I mean, he is so comfortable. <laughs> Zulu's become well accustomed to his bedtime routine. When he was a puppy, Bucks used to put him on the bed, and I think he's just kind of stayed on the bed from that, hasn't he? Bucks didn't do anything <laughs> like that at all. You want him on the bed. Which begs just one question. Does it disturb your love life? Yes. <laughs> Where do I start? Here is a dog that jumps up and slobbers all over visitors when they come in. He has no social skills, so he can't be let off the lead because they don't know how he's going to react around other dogs. He's taken over the marital bed. He has little or no exercise. There is a lot of work to do here. It's time for Bucks and Mel to face up to some home truths. It's unfortunate that Zulu is coming between you because I think he is a fantastic dog and that you haven't helped him at all by not walking him enough, by him being so understimulated in so many ways that he will leap up on the fence and cause problems to your neighbours. Um, that's not your neighbour's fault, it's not his fault, it's your fault. With Victoria, quite often it's the owners who are in the doghouse. Look, the bottom line is you have a dog. If you have a dog, you have to take responsibility for that dog. Doesn't matter how tired you are, you get up and you take that dog out for a walk. Because if that dog's going to be spending its whole life indoors, no wonder it's going to go nuts. We had a serious telling off, which I think we both needed. It's brought us a little closer today, just to realise that we both want the same thing, really, which is a happy family. Now, uh, tomorrow's going to be fun, though, because we're going to start working at it tomorrow. Yeah, and live in harmony. It's Victoria's first day of training, and despite the couple's newfound commitment, Buck still has his doubts about Zulu's ability to learn. He will always be jumping up at people, he will always be clawing things, he will always be licking things. And although Victoria's clearly very good at what she does, I believe that Zulu cannot be trained. Stop! 
sit. Wait. Come in. Within minutes, Bucks is eating his words. What a good boy, that was hard and you did it. I'm stunned what I just saw. I can't believe he didn't run through the door and, and jump up and buck. You did it, you did it, you did it. You, you Round did one it. to Victoria. Boxers like Zulu need a good two hours exercise a day, so Victoria's devised a plan. Now, Bucks, I know you're on a bit of a diet at the moment um, and you want to get fit, and this is going to be your opportunity to get fit, all right, with Zulu, because this is Zulu's exercise schedule. Between them, they must complete three activities, walking, jogging, and exercising in the garden. You cannot give this dog too much exercise. In the past, it's Zulu who's taken Bucks for a walk and Mel who's been given the runaround. No ah. wonder this dog hasn't been Zulu. getting his walkies. Ah. <laughs> I want you to be able to walk him and I know you've had a problem with the pulling. So this is a great head collar made especially for dogs with short noses. It's a, just a, a, a collar around his neck um, with a loop that goes around his nose. Can't pull. If he does try and pull, his head comes round. So I'm going to hand you over the lead. See how it works for you. As Zulu pulls forward, his head is pulled around by the head collar. Bye. For the first time ever, Mel has got Zulu under control. Good luck. Coming up, Bucks and Mel see what a knockout boxer can really do. Good. But there are still mountains to climb. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. One of Zulu's worst crimes has been his terrifying jumping. But he's not the first bouncing dog Victoria's come across. No! Oh. 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 Get off! Down Stop it! Hound is all about excess energy, so to help channel some of Zulu's, Victoria's arranged a surprise outing. We've come here today to an agility course. It's all about accentuating the positive. You got to accentuate the positive. This course provides the kind of mental and physical stimulation a bored boxer needs. Zulu's two and a half years old now. Is it too late to train him? You shouldn't train a dog to do agility until they're at least 12 months old, okay. when the muscles and the bones are more developed. Okay. I have no doubt Zulu could, could, could do this. Back at home, Victoria's got a surprise. Here we are. Your very own agility course. Bucks and Mel don't use the garden, so Victoria's installed a set of Zulu-friendly jumps. Wait. Zulu, come. Good boy. All right, go for it. Go. Good boy. Good boy. No problem. Easy peasy. Yay. Very good. Very good. Hey, Bucks, who says this dog can't be trained? <laughs> yeah. I'm eating that humble pie now. Yeah, I want you to eat humble yeah. pie. Good boy. Zulu's found the first day of training exhausting, but that doesn't mean he or the other pooches are entitled to crash out in the marital bed. I'm going to put the little dogs there and Zulu's here. If they come up during the night, just say, off, go to your bed. If they come back on the bed again, pick them up, put them down onto their bed. Keep repeating it. It might mean that he actually you don't sleep very well tonight. But after a while, they get the message, and they've got comfortable beds down there. This is where you sleep, and on the floor, on their beds, is where the dogs sleep. <laughs> Bedtime, oh. and Zulu's up to his old tricks. It looks like Bucks and Mel have a long night ahead of them. Did you sleep all right? I did. Day two of training and Victoria's keen to find out how the family slept. Zulu was quite good. Once we threw him off the second time, he, um, he stayed off. He stayed off the bed. This is how Bucks and Mel think the night went, all tucked up in their own beds. 
When we woke up this morning, we was in the bed on our own. She was lying on one side of the bed and I was lying on the other side of the bed and there was nothing <laughs> in between us. That may be so, but this is what really happened. One crafty canine sneaking into bed behind Buck's back. Then, after a comfy night's sleep, an exit timed to perfection. You can't get one over on this dog. Bucks and Mel will need to be more vigilant if they're to stamp out the bed napping. Sharing a bed with Zulu is bad enough. Getting snogged by him is the pits. Zulu has many bad habits, but his licking and slobbering is plain revolting. They lick when they're stressed. It's a displacement activity. It gives them something to do. It releases pleasurable endorphins into the body, makes them feel good. They lick because they get attention. Doesn't matter whether it's negative attention, they still get attention. By ignoring Zulu, Victoria hopes to stamp out this unsavoury habit. That's it. Totally turn away. That's it. Just ignore him. Consistently giving him the cold shoulder means Zulu soon gets bored. Time now for his biggest challenge yet. Mel's mum. Right, don't touch him. Up till now, Zulu's favourite lollipop. Turn around the other way, if you can. That's it. <laughs> A sharp clap distracts Zulu and shows him exactly who's the boss. Thank you. I was so surprised because usually I can't get out of that chair for a good sort of ten minutes. I thought you'd done really well. Lovely. As a pup, Zulu was never introduced to other dogs. So when he meets strangers, his behaviour is unpredictable. <laughs> Victoria wants to begin socialising Zulu so that he can be confident around other dogs and let off the lead. But socialising older dogs is tricky. Fights are more likely to break out between dogs of the same sex, so Victoria's lined up two bitches for him to meet. While boxer Abby prepares for Zulu's arrival, Bucks and Mel nervously eavesdrop. The other dog looks like it's, it's up for whatever's going to happen. I think she knows that she's going to be meeting Zulu. Let's go say hello. Here we go, here Let's we go. Let's go say hello. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, watch out. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. The first date is a disaster. That was a head-to-head -head greeting, and I think because the other bitch is actually quite a dominant bitch, she actually started to feel a little threatened by this huge great thing coming towards her. So she reacted negatively, and he reacted negatively. So we're going to try him with a slightly more submissive bitch and see what happens. Say hello. He's not going to bite the dog. He's going he's gonna to be rough initially. There we go. There we go. There we go. He's sniffing. He's not biting. He's playing. After checking each other out, these dogs become sociable with each other. It looks like second date Sophie is Zulu's perfect playmate. And I look like a dog because I'm crying. Oh my god. That is just really cool, isn't it? Are you happy? Oh, I'm so over the moon. You don't even know. This is like the best thing ever. Oh, look, she's laying on her back and he's, well, he's being rude at the moment. He's being very rude. She's corrupting my boy. Victoria's training has come to an end. Bucks and Mel are left alone for two weeks to get to grips with their new exercise-based schedule. With Buck's busy workload, it's Mel who takes on the lion's share of the responsibility. And not always with the desired results. Sticking successfully with her new head collar routine, she takes him out three times a day. And where Mel used to be dragged into the bushes, Zulu is now happy just to leave his mark. I think it's all definitely been good because he's getting a lot more fun and attention. And he's starting to look a lot better. And I've got a lot more exercise as well. <laughs> but it's not all one-sided. Even disbelieving Bucks has some success with commands. So look up. Look up. Sit. Sit. Sit, Zulu. Come, sit. 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 See, I made him sit. Well, eventually. Good dog. 
It looks like all this new attention is producing a worn-out, happier Zunu. He's not jumping up on the wall as much as he used to. He's staying out of the bed. He's not jumping up on the door. I'm going to be interested to see what Victoria thinks of his agility skills, and I hope she'll see all the effort and hard work we've put in with him. When Victoria first arrived three weeks ago, she was nearly knocked off her feet and then received a doggy shower. Will she get a wet reception today? Zulu! Zulu! Oi! Come! Come on! Get back! Get back! Get back! Stay! 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 Hello! Hello! Good boy! Go! Oh my goodness! That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. No leaping up at the door. No, not at all. Sitting and staying there. Yeah. And then no jumping all over me. No. Bucks has gained control of the hallway. What about the lounge? He gave me one lick on my hand. Yeah, yeah. But that's it. Yeah. There's no jumping all over me. I can sit here without feeling like I'm going to be squashed by a seven-stone boxer. Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic! Zulu's doing well inside the house, but before Victoria came along, he couldn't be trusted anywhere near other dogs. Time to see if his new socialisation playdates are paying off. I think it would be OK to let them off the lead. Unclip him. Don't make any... Don't make any... Big things, let's let him play. OK, let's just stand back. It's the moment of truth. Zulu has never been let free outside his own garden before. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the progress of this reformed canine is making everyone feel better. For me, it's, it's fantastic. He's, um, he's a changed dog, a changed animal, and it's reflecting in our relationship. Definitely. Much happier people and a much happier dog. We have been practising and we've got something to show you. Unfortunately, being South African opened my big trap and said this dog cannot be trained. OK, come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Come on then. Whee! Yuck, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Come on then. Ah! This is definitely a job well done. But you know what? My part in it is a small part. I'm there to give the tools. They have to go away and work at it and that's what they've done.